back. Welcome back to the channel. I am so happy to have you all here today with me. And if you're here today for the first time, welcome. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you all so much for your loyal support. Today I'm in the kitchen and this is where uh, we're going to continue our summer refresh journey where we're going to continue that same color palette, the tiny little touch of green and we're just going to refresh the space already clean out, wipe out and do all the necessity. So um, we're just going to make the kitchen feel and smell and look like summer. So uh, we're not going to spend too much time talking. Um, grab yourself a summer cocktail and just let's jump straight into today's video. Thank you all so much for being here today. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with another vintage lemon print from Etsy. And these small prints, I print them from my home printer and I just place them in a frame. And I'm just going to place it right there to the top shelf to the right. And this is a full Potos plan that I'm going to place on top of the shelf. Okay, a small stack of plates. It's the Magnolia table by Join Again. Okay, so I'm bringing in both functional and decor items to the shelf. Next, some gravy servers on top of the plates. Okay. Okay, some canisters. And that's like a little milk server. Okay, I'm bringing in my limes. It's summer. We're gonna keep the summer flow flowing. We all need our limes during the summer. Perfect for the season. And if you're here today for the first time, welcome. I am so delighted to have you here. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family. I thank you so much for being here stack of serving bowl uh, keeping it functional and decorated at the same time my pesto I'm gonna place it right in the center and an apron is well needed in the kitchen as always and for my appliances I keep them underneath my kitchen counter but I'll keep like the necessity one like one or two like my mixer or my coffee maker but I'm not a coffee person I'm a tea person and these rechargeable under the light cabinet lights they are just perfect and next is another vintage piece a uh, vintage apple as I mentioned from Etsy and I'm just gonna place it right there for now I'll get back to it and giving the vase some contrast with this mar marble stripe and bringing in some canister in here more storage for the countertop
Okay, more cookbooks, stacks of cookbooks. Uh, we need them around the kitchen from time to time. Two stacks of guacamole bowls right there. Bringing in some green apples, perfect for the season. Now I'm gonna pause and fix me a glass of cool cucumber gin cocktail. Ingredients will be in the description box. Watch until the end so we can finish our cocktail together. We're to the next side of the counter and I'm going to place a, a vase right there in front of the socket just to camouflage the eyesore. And here's my little pop of decor green apple right there. bringing in a couple of functional items like my salt and pepper. Okay, some coasters. And some toothpicks along with my spoon for my salt and pepper. For those who know me, I like to keep a glass of water with live potas right by my sink. It's something that I do all my life. I like to use decorative bottles for my dish soap, my hand soap, right there by my sink. Bringing in a little touch of sage right here for the kitchen towels. Moving over to my little kitchen nook corner right here. I'm just gonna keep it simple with a big statement, this pop of uh, greenery right in the center of the table. And a touch of sage right there. And I always keep a lamp in my kitchen. I do not use overhead lights. So lamp is a very substitute way to go. And here is another print and this one is from Amazon. Uh, yes, I just place it inside a frame that I already have and I'm gonna use it to cover up the high sore. <laughs> okay, so that's one there. And I'm gonna be doing a contrast with both frame. And this is another vintage piece 
from Etsy as well. And I just place it in the frame as usual. And I'm gonna use it to contrast right here at this little area here. Cause this is a big ISO for me. <laughs> Okay, so that little ear is done. The contrast is just perfect for that spot right there. Okay, next I'm gonna place a stack of cookbooks right there in the center. And uh, on top of the books, I'm gonna place a potted uh, greenery on top. Okay, so finishing it off with my wig cutter. Now I'm going to place a bowl of green artichokes right on top of my uh, fridge. And do not ignore your top of your fridge. It is much, very much important, just like the other space in your kitchen. Pulling out my cocktail book. Perfect for the summer, right? And I'm just gonna light my mango mandarin candle. This candle smell amazing. Oh my gosh. It smells like summer. Real summer. Now I'm gonna give you an overview of the finished space, but don't go anywhere. We still have our cocktail to enjoy together.
I hope you enjoy another episode of my summer refresh. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content. Until next time, this is Arita saying bye for now, and I'll see you in the next one. And after a long day, getting the kitchen together, it's time to unwind and enjoy my glass of cocktail. Cheers.